Good morning and welcome to Embracing the Journey, Day 2. Today is Monday, August the 12th, 2019, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time, and all the time, God is so very great. So today for our Monday's Embracing the Journey moment, day two, I would like to talk about declare. The word declare, what does declare mean? It means to speak. It means to command. It means to affirm and say Speak into the universe and believe, declare. When you declare, it doesn't mean that you're uncertain. When you declare, you are sure. There is an assurance with a declaration. There is a belief with declaration. There is faith with declaration. There is power with declaration. All throughout the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, there's so many declarations in the book of Psalms. I will. I will tell of your mighty acts. I will tell of your mighty works. I will tell of your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Lord, you are my light. Lord, you are my joy. Lord, you are my shepherd. There is so much declaration in the book of Psalms. So as we talk about declare, we're speaking of words, and words have power. I remember, I remember growing up hearing people say, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is not true. Let me repeat that again. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. There's no truth in that because words do hurt. Words have power. Words have power of life. Words have power of death. Words have power to heal. Words have power to hurt. So there is power in words. So when we speak things, we must be careful what we speak. When we declare things, we must be careful of what we declare because words have power. That's why there's so much power in affirmation. When we speak affirmation, I believe that I am lovable. I believe that I am somebody. I believe that I can do it. There's so much power when we speak those words and believe what we say. Even when we recite certain scriptures, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is power in that. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. That is power in those words when we believe the words, the words of the Lord. So as you go forth today, what are you declaring? Are you declaring victory this day? Are you declaring victory each and every day? Are you believing God? Are you living a life of declaration? Are you living a life of confirmation? Are you living a life of affirmation? Are you trusting in the Lord and leaning not to your own understanding? Are you leaning on his word? Are you aware of his promises? Are you believing in his promises? Are you knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? God is amazing and there's so much riches that he gives us in his word and in his promises. And even in our lives, I often say if we look at our lives and we look at his track record, all that he has done for us, all that he has brought us through, all of the ways that he has made to bring us to where we are today, that testimony is a record of his goodness, his mercy, and his grace, and his love, and his power. So let's declare today. Let's declare to have a blessed day in the Lord. Let's just take this day right here and right now because we shouldn't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has enough worries of its own. Let's just be in today. Let's be in the moment because this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And that itself is a declaration. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's be glad that the Lord has brought us to this day and let's be blessed because we already are blessed. The blessings of the Lord make it one rich and add no sorrow with it. There is no sorrow with the blessings of the Lord. So as I leave you on this Monday, embracing the journey moment, as we are headed towards the book signing, I'm so excited. God is about to do an amazing thing. I'm declaring and decreeing. It is about to be the leap. I'm about to leap and launch into setting off the message of the book. 
speaking of his mighty acts, speaking of his mighty works, that if he can restore me, he can restore you. So as I leave you today, be blessed, remain resilient, be encouraged, and keep walking and talking with the Lord. God bless you.